It's that time of year again, and the R&R team is left with some big choices. Whether to pull a mule deer tag this season, or continue last year's quest for a bighorn sheep deep within the Rocky Mountains. Last year was our first attempt at sheep hunting, and we got a good taste of the challenges that came with it. We hunted through snowstorms, climbed up vertical terrain, and hiked several kilometers daily, and never found any legal rams. Despite our difficulties with the sheep, we were successful in northern Alberta by tagging a 50-inch bull moose. We got off to an early start this season by hiking into the mountains during the summer months. This would help condition ourselves for longer hikes. While hiking, we also planted several trail cameras in our hunting area. With open season approaching fast, there is no time to waste. Before the season started, Che made an addition to his rifle collection. The 300 Wind Mag, a rifle made to shoot long range. A long range shot is a scenario Che has been training for years and must be prepared for. We started the season off by exploring new areas and trying to cover as much ground as possible but not without keeping a close eye on the tree lines. Using the spotting scope, we can spot game from nearly two kilometers away, an essential tool for hunting in the mountains. As the days passed without finding any rams, we returned to an area we nicknamed the Grizzly Bowl, for obvious reasons. From the grassy bowls to the snow-capped summits, we searched the mountains high and low, but found far more grizzly bears than we did sheep. Undiscouraged, we continued to hunt in grizzly country. Over a month into the season, we continued to push ourselves. Every opportunity we got, we were in the mountains, searching for a ram. Throughout the season, we've already hiked 300 kilometers since the summer, and we're not about to slow down. We've seen use every trip we've made into the Grizzly Bowl, but have yet to see a mature ram. With the season closing soon, we push ourselves even harder by hiking out of the Grizzly Bowl and over the mountains. We were now nearly 20 kilometers from the park truck, much further than we have ever ventured before. Summoning the snowy mountain pass took most of the morning to complete. But once we arrived, we did not hesitate to glass the new territory. Most of the snow had already melted off the south-facing slopes, making it ideal conditions to spot grazing sheep. And it wasn't long until we spotted a group of ewes. At nearly one kilometer away, we continued to study the ewes and the nearby slopes. We suddenly spotted movement on the slope. A young ram, all by himself. We decided to get a closer look to make sure he was alone. We were in for a surprise. In the adjacent bowl, we were caught by surprise as five mature rams appeared from under us. At 300 yards away, we carefully studied the group. And there he was, a mature bighorn ram was looking directly at us. We froze on the mountainside, unable to make the slightest movement. A hunt two years in the making 
We were not taking any chances. Unable to find a flat spot on the mountain, we settled in for our only chance. A 38 degree shot, 300 yards away. If he busts us moving around, we may never see him again. I found a spot to set up for the shot of a lifetime. The ram hadn't noticed our movements, however, the wind was starting to pick up. All the miles we hiked, all the mountains we've climbed, and the weeks spent in grizzly country to get to this point. We now had the chance to tag a trophy sheep, an opportunity most hunters could only dream of was about to come down to one shot. We could not wait to get down to see our first ram. As we got closer, the reality had set in. The most challenging hunt of our careers had finally reached its climax. I think we all gain a great deal of respect for these animals. For such a challenging hunt, it just makes the reward that much better. And now, for the trek home. <laughs>